Early in the first period, Burlington in a power play. Patrick Kashalt's going to find Chris Bushy at the side of the goal. Fast hands to get that shot off on a hurry, beating Brett Dobson. Chiefs up by a score of 2 to 1. Warriors on a power play now. Bryce Yetman swings away and scores the first of what would be a very big night for him on the scoreboard. We are certainly not done hearing his name. Stay 2 2 until late stages of the first. How late? Less than a second left on the clock when Dawson Thie grabs his own rebound and beats a Jesse Legault. It is 3 2. Legault giving up that late goal in the first, but starts the second with a pair of big saves. The first on Tanner Cook, and then Tyler Eames is sent in on a break, but Legault is going to win that battle as well. His streak stops while Burlington is on the power play. Thie to Yetman sneaks a shot in far side for his second goal of the night. Short-handed again, Whippy adds to the lead. Ryan Barnable spots Graydon Hogg flying towards goal. They convert 5-3 now. Good addition this year is Hogg on that Whippy lineup. Legault showing he's got a strong passing game. Chiefs see his 200 feet of the floor in a hurry. It's punctuated by Ryan Smith with the goal and showing that was no fluke. Legault does it again. Precision passing down four to Smith a second time. That's kind of looking like a, a Peyton Manning throwing the ball down there. This game won't be tied long, though. Yetman hits for a pair of goals quickly. The first, a rip from distance. And the second goal, Adam Turner's going to set up as he digs up a loose ball, sends Yetman in, and he will score. That is four goals on the evening for him. Burlington had been step for step in this game, but Whippy would start to emerge as the stronger team by the late stage of the second. Cook getting on the board here with Thie, the, the, the assist from behind. Connor Kiernan running through traffic, diving towards goal, and he scores his second. Big night in the scoreboard for Bryce Yetman. This came close to a goal of the year candidate. Unfortunately, just didn't quite finish it off, but great effort and draws a Burlington penalty on the play. Third period. Adam Peroni is going to step in front of a pass. Blazes down floor the other way with Ryan Latchbury giving chase. Peroni is going to win this foot race and fires home for a 10-7 Warriors lead. Chiefs on the power play now, but Dyson Williams is just going to rag the ball, running time off the clock, and even winds up getting Burlington to take a penalty themselves for good measure. That is a solid kill. Chiefs not out of this one yet. Stepping up and shooting just before Dawson Thede absolutely steamrolls him here. And that is going to close the gap. Ryan Smith looking to make it a two-goal game here on the power play. But Dobson, he's going to get an arm to this shot. The Warriors take this one by a score of 13-10. to 10. They show they can win the run and gun games. But head coach Joel Johnson, he'll take the two points. But he would prefer a more defensive-minded type of game. You know what, we kept pace with them, they scored, we scored. It's an open kind of game and uh, you know we don't necessarily like playing that way but we certainly held up with them tonight. Uh, our special teams has progressively gotten better. Uh, we had a team, team building weekend actually this weekend which I thought propelled us into some of those situations today uh, where we executed perfectly and uh, it's come down to guys buying in and, and executing what we're doing and uh, it was successful for us. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Especially in the second period, we uh, really emphasized getting one of those righties back and uh, stopping their transition. But I mean, uh, they had a lot of chance on transition. It's something we definitely got to clean up and uh, stop some of uh, their offensive opportunities.